All right, welcome back. Today we have a Koring 1266. This is a 130 ton excavator. And the bucket is actually, it says 365 on it, but it's obviously not a normal 365 bucket. It's a 365 ME bucket. So gives you an idea how big the bucket thing this thing swings. And now uh, there's a size comparison. All right, this machine is powered by two Detroit 12V71N two cycle diesel engines. So this thing is loud as shit. You got your big undercarriage. This is your sprocket back here. Your pads, so you can see how big they are. They're huge. And this is, it's like mid chest right here. And it should have walkways. They're here for the machine. They're not on it just in case you have to move it. There you got all your bottom rollers, your idler out there. Your radiators for the engines, they're fitted lengthwise, or no, widthwise. That's actually the boom off of an 866 co-ring that's also here. Now you can see how big this thing is, you can walk right under here. And here's your chain to drive the whole machine. You got air tanks for the controls, counterweight bolts in here, air horn right there. Bottom, some kind of fluid tank, not sure what. Hydraulic lines, pumps, pumps, two pumps per motor it appears, maybe even more up there. Your other chain to drive the machine. There's your 866 right over there. Northwest Crane. But uh, get a better view. The other side, and you got your counterweight. It doesn't say carring in it, but you get a better view of the side of the machine, your pumps and such. Walk way up the ladder, up to the machine. Level, I think that's fuel right there. Or no, that's hydraulic. Another step. And here's your idler. It's just absolutely god awful massive. Your lights. There you go. Your cylinders for your boom and your bucket. There you go, boats. There, the uh, turntable boats, bolts to the counter, I mean, no, to the uh, undercarriage. There are your other cylinders, swing motors, lights, cab. Obviously on the uh, opposite side is most modern day excavators. And the one cool thing about these coverings is they had a sliding door, like that Northwest crane right there. And uh, this obviously had coring controls, air over hydraulic. You had one function for you push your controls out and then back. They had two toggles, one for an oscillate on opposite function. You have a step that folds down. And you got your boom. And now over there you got your bucket. And uh, you just see how big this bucket is. This is eye level and it's still up there. You your uh, dog bone linkage, your bucket, and uh, that's really it. And uh, I'll see you up on the cab. All right, welcome back. We're up on the track, but you can see how wide it is. It makes a nice walkway. This ladder is not secured. Got your two radiators. Batteries. There you got your one of your 1271 Detroit's swing motors and stuff, gauges, filters. Another battery appears, auto lube of some kind actually. And here you got your cab, quite spacious, not very wide though. And uh, you got your coloring controls. All your gauges right there. I'm not going to try to open these doors because they're notorious for getting jammed and I don't want to jam the door. So you got your front view. That's about it. You got your boom. And this will be like if you're operating the machine obviously. But uh, yeah, you can see just how big it is. You can see how big the pads are. They're quite right. Alright, have a good day.